Hey, good morning, everybody. So today is a special, awesome kind of a day. We have blue skies, and thank goodness, because today is the total solar eclipse, and we're going to be seeing that here shortly, a little bit later in this video. But uh, we've got quite a few things we want to get done today as we prepare and wait for the eclipse to take place. One of the things I do want to just address is we it appears that in the last video uh, when we did our giveaway that the scammers and the spammers came out in droves jen and i spent oh my gosh we probably spent a good portion of about 30 minutes non-stop trying to uh, delete and get rid of uh, spam comments on our giveaway uh, video and it was brutal anybody who was affected by that i am deeply uh, uh, sorry for it was never our intention uh, for anything like that to happen unfortunately it did well, however or why ever it happened to us uh, jen and i are terribly sorry uh, but rest assured that we did everything we could to help prevent uh, anything stupid and crazy from going on so um, we do want to thank everybody who participated in it. It was a lot of fun for us to do. And uh, yeah, we are looking forward to doing another one. All right, well, with that said, uh, the reason I'm looking down so much is because there's quite a bit of ice. Uh, it did freeze last night, but it's going to be 58 degrees today. Just an absolutely gorgeous day. All of the girls are doing good. Jen was already out here to give them their water. So they're hanging out. Uh, one of the projects we're gonna be working on today is to actually get their run up. So uh, we're gonna hang out for a little while, let the sun kind of beat on the snow a little bit, melt it up, get it soft. And then uh, here in a little bit, we're gonna come out, we're gonna put some posts in the ground, get some fencing up and uh, see if we can't let these birds run around a little bit. So before we get started, there's a few other jobs we need to get done. Last night it froze, so we want to break up the ice in our canals, make sure that once the ice starts to thaw, everything will start flowing real nice out to the woods. The other thing we're working on today is to remove all of our tarps that we currently have. We put those up with the intentions of keeping the snow out. And now that we've had our last big snow of the year, it's time to take them down, let everything inside air out for summer. So after a little while, uh, we actually lost the rings on the tarp. And so we had purchased some of these really cool tarp clips. And basically they snap on to the, uh, to the tarp. Uh, and then they have this little hole here if I can get one of these, if I can get this one off, I'll show you. There we go. So basically it has these teeth, kind of grabs hold of the tarp. Then it has this hole right through the center. You can use that in lieu of the ring. Now the reason I'm opening up the tarps on the two uh, storages on, on the, our shed here is simply to allow some air to get in there. Uh, we've got a beautiful day today and tomorrow, and so I want to try to thaw out and dry out anything that might be moist uh, or be wet that's in these sheds. So that's why we're taking the tarps down. Holy smokes, is it getting warm. It's gonna be 58 degrees today, but because it has been uh, cold for like six, seven months now, uh, it just feels great uh, in a t-shirt out here. It's, it's just amazing, it feels wonderful. All right, so uh, we've got a few hours left before the solar eclipse. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got snow on the ground here but that's okay. I've got some fence posts. Uh, we've got to put six posts in the ground. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I, I think I can do it. I think this ground is thawed out enough. We'll give it a shot and see what happens.
All right, so now that we've got this side set up, we're gonna get this side done up. Okay, so it is like 20 after 2, and the, what's it called, the partial eclipse? It says that a partial begins at 222 according to my little um, app that okay. I got. So at, in like 5 minutes, <laughs> it's going to start. So the partial eclipse starts, right? Alright, so we are all ready. We've got... Our glasses, we've manufactured some little lenses for our, our cameras. Jen's got hers up there. Uh, we have our drone ready, because we're gonna send that up. Yeah, I think the only other thing we've gotta do is, what? We've got the camera for the, because we're gonna put it in the chicken oh, coop. Oh, yep, we've got the camera ready for the chicken coop. Um, I got my big camera for when it's, totality oh then I was yeah gonna bring out the so one. those pictures you'll be able to find on patreon if you uh, want to see the pictures of the total totality i guess right is that what it's called it's totality eclipse that's what it says yeah totality. so yeah Dura the totality duration for our area is going to be three minutes and one second isn't that crazy all this big hype and all all this for three minutes for three minutes it sounds like christmas morning yeah, <laughs> yeah, and we've seen some pictures from Holton, uh, which is the last city in the United States that you'll be able to see the uh, the eclipse from, and it's a madhouse. It's crazy. There's like people dressed up in in alien costumes and everything. It's um, Jen and I are. It is nice, peaceful, quiet. A little bit of a breeze here on Hamblechea Ranch. We have no none of that craziness so i can't put on my costume all right stay tuned next thing you're gonna see is the uh is uh what is parse yeah yeah just stay tuned here we go <laughs> all right so we are outside right now we are supposed to be getting some coverage right now but what do you think what are you doing are you finding anything let's see what we can see that's it it's starting it is starting Okay, so the glasses are cool, but this little thing here, this welding helmet or mask or whatever, dude, this thing is awesome. The sun is actually green. I wish I was able to try to get a good picture through it, but that's not working very well. All right, well, while we wait for the full eclipse to take place, right now we've got just a little bit of of uh, eclipse going on. I would just want to show you guys where we are at with our fencing. So we've got our four foot chicken fence up on this side, which is kind of cool. Uh, there, they will have this whole entire area as a chicken run and it's right next to the garden. So, which is cool as well, because that fence is already in place. I do have to clean up all the dog bombs but uh, we'll get there so all of this fencing is already up that'll be the door and let's see how our girls are doing hello ladies the chickens have no idea what's in store for them but we're going to be checking them out uh, once we hit totality so that'll be kind of cool all right, getting back to the fence. So the gate will be right here. This will be closed in. And the idea for us is that we'll be able to come into the run area. We'll open up the door. Chickens can come out. And then uh, in the evening, chickens can go back into their coop and then we'll just shut the door. So 
We're not too worried about the fencing in here. It's simply just to keep them in here. So once we are done with totality, we'll go ahead and uh, finish getting the wired fence up uh, and then we will uh, we'll get started on the uh, the gate so So something profound has just happened to me babe what so I was in the chicken coop and when I came out it feels like it's late afternoon and the sun is setting seriously it's like when i came out it was like it was as if he just wants to take a nap <laughs> <laughs> but i love you <laughs> yes i do want to take a nap i know you do yeah. but no seriously it's like I know. it's really it's... weird it's like my 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 what's it called your inner yeah my inner clock and I, as soon as I walked out, I was like, whoa, is it dinner time yet? <laughs> like, it's crazy. I can, I can feel it, you know. I didn't think I was going to feel it. I heard that people feel it, but I didn't think I was going to feel it. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. All right, so the temperature is definitely going down. Uh, it looks like, it, it legit looks like it's... And actually, it looks like the sun is being covered up. That's what it looks like. It's kind of it weird. Does. It looks weird. Yeah, it's totally weird. It just, yeah, it looks like it's being covered up, which it is. But, all right, I got to get a coat on. <laughs> I actually didn't think that it was going to get chilly. But I guess... Without the sun, I mean, it's gonna get chilly, so. The wind's picking up, sun's going away, temperatures are going down. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just looks, we, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera or not, but uh, I mean, the lighting here is so crazy. Crazy, crazy. We're almost at totality. It is so cool. I didn't actually think I was gonna be this excited over this. I can't help it though. I know on this phone, I'm on Jen's phone now because I need my phone for something else, but it looks so bright. <laughs> I didn't even know you were video <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so bright on this phone. It looks like daylight. This this is crazy. But it's not. I it's it's so it's dark. I mean it, it is getting dark. It's there like is late like afternoon. A sliver yeah. Left. Oh boy, that's crazy. Alright, so next thing you'll see is us in totality. And just like that, the sunlight is back out, and it's like a sunrise. <laughs> a lot uh, a lot different than a sunrise, but a sunrise nonetheless. All right, well, that was really cool. Sunrise in the wrong place. Sunrise in the wrong place, yep. We've got the dogs out now, and the birds are all chirping, as if it was morning. 
Holy smokes, that is cool. All right, well, back to work. All right, folks, we are done with the run area. Uh, the last thing we've got to do is uh, add a gate, and we're going to do that tomorrow, but we're also going to do that in a different video. Uh, this video was about the eclipse and about us getting the run area fenced in, and we have done that, and we are so excited about it. The dogs are no longer going to be able to get in here, which is great. Um, but I do have some cleanup in here. But the area that's now for the chickens, unfortunately, I have some dog bombs that I'm going to have to clean up. And I'm hoping that this snow here melts tomorrow, or at least a lot of it melts tomorrow. That would be awesome. Otherwise, I'm going to try and shovel some of it out. So that the chickens can get from this area over to that area so uh, i think it's a relatively large run now the one issue we're going to have are predators from the air and we have a solution for that uh you'll just have to stay tuned for the for another video for that uh, we're going to be working on that once the ground dries and once uh, we are, you know, fully in spring. Uh, let's see. That's it. We are pretty stoked the uh, for the eclipse today. That was really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our video on this, this uh, monumentous day. So I really hope you folks enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, the eclipse was awesome. Uh, if you saw it anywhere along its path, uh, I'm sure that uh, you had the same feelings as we did here. And that was just, it was weird, man. It was really weird. But, you know, it was awesome. All right, folks. Well, that'll do it for this video. Thanks a lot for sticking around and watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button. All right, that'll do it. We'll see you folks on the next video.